Hello everybody, it's the Raiding425 here, bringing another video, and today uh, we're going to be looking at the Miami Dolphins 2019 schedule and getting a schedule preview and my predictions of what is going to happen. So I'm probably going to make two videos, one now and then one at the end of the preseason. You, know, you never know what my injuries might happen, you don't know who the starting quarterback is going to be, and things like this. But I want to get one now because I, I think it's fun to predict and like it's fun to you know look at the schedule, look ahead, especially this time of year, everybody's getting excited. You got training camp, you got preseason games, and you know... Preseason games are good, but it's not the same, you know? So you, you, you kind of look forward to these games, and there's a lot of good games I'm looking forward to on the schedule. So the first one here is the Ravens, and we got the Ravens at home week one. Um, the Ravens are actually a special team for when we play them, for me at least. Uh, my uh, my dad's a Ravens fan, and I grew up in the area of um, where a lot of Ravens fans are. And I actually went to the Ravens game where we lost 40 to nothing on Thursday night. That was an experience for sure. One of the few Dolphins games I've ever been to. It kind of sucked, but I mean, you know, what can you do? But we're not here to talk about the past. We're here to talk about who I think is going to win. So uh, I don't think the Ravens will be as good as they were last year. It actually shows their stats here. They were the number one defense. I don't think that's going to happen again. Ninth offense, which is really surprising because they had a really good rushing game with Lamar Jackson going on. Uh, I don't think Lamar Jackson is going to run as much as he did last year. And I know, um, as many of you know from experience, Dolphins have a really hard time stopping quarterbacks who run. Um, I really want to say that we, we could win this game. And it could happen. I mean, that if the heat gets to him, if everything ends up right. But we can't beat running quarterbacks. We never have. Tyrod Taylor would always beat us. I mean... We just can't stop running quarterbacks. And at least from my experiences as being a Dolphins fan, I'm sure many of you would agree with me. I want to say we could, I think we can win this game. I don't think we will. I think we'll start the season off on one. Now against the Patriots. Uh, we got them at home week two. The sun's going to be hot. You know, well, obviously the sun's always hot, but the weather's going to be hot once again. Uh, everybody knows what happened last time with the Miami miracle. You know, the Dolphins crazy last play ending. Um, I think Brian Flores is going to have a game plan ready to beat these guys, and I think we will beat the Patriots week two. I think Brian Flores is going to have a hell of a game plan. I think uh, they're going to be hyped up for this game after starting 0-1, and I think we'll, we'll, we will beat the Patriots, and it'll be the, the upset of the week, upset of the year, or whatever. Um, actually, no, people kind of expect us to beat the Patriots at home now after we've done it so many times. Week three at the Cowboys. Wishing this game would have been on Thanksgiving, but we got to take what we can. Uh, this game will be one of the, like their featured games. Uh, like I said, like it was having games where like it would be like presented as like historical. This is going to be one of them, as well as the Chargers game next week. Um, we're at Dallas. You know, I don't think we can stop Zeke. Our front seven isn't going to be good enough to stop him. I think Dak will, uh, you know, use his feet. Is just like well, he won't be as you know he's not as mobile as Lamar, but I think he'll use his feet to skate the pocket. Won't really get too much of a pressure against them. I don't think we'll stop Ezekiel Elliott and, um, on the road. It's a tough environment. I think that's a loss. I think we'll start the season one and two. Next, we got the Chargers at home. Uh, the Chargers are a really good team. I don't think they will be 12 and four like they were last year. I think they'll regress, and um, uh, I think they'll be lucky to make the playoffs. Honestly, I don't think the Chargers will be anywhere near what they were. I don't think Melvin Gordon will be on the team, to be quite honest. Uh, but they still are a very talented football team with very talented young players, and um, we're we're not quite as talented as them, and I don't even I don't you know I don't think the Heat will. Well, I mean Los Angeles isn't too hot, but you know I just can't see us winning this game. We never do usually do too good against the Chargers, and I just see them beating us. Um, and us starting one and three, I can't see us winning that game. Next, we got the Redskins at home after a bye week. This will be our easiest win. <laughs> I don't want to say that because then we'll lose this game, but I think this will be the easiest one of the season. I think we'll beat the Redskins. Pretty easily against a rookie QB, I think um, we'll get it done. I think we'll we'll end up two and three there. Next, we got at Buffalo. Um, we never, never beat the Bills at home. The last time we beat them was in 2016. Uh, that crazy overtime win. We have a hard time beating Buffalo on the road. We have a hard time beating them. Period. And I don't think we will this time. I think Josh Allen is a very promising quarterback. I think he's a lot of people compare him to Ryan Tannehill. I think he's better than Ryan Tannehill. I think he will become better than Ryan Tannehill. Uh, I think he I think he might actually end up being the best quarterback in that draft class. 
which I know is high praise. You know, got Baker. I don't think Baker's as good as everyone makes him out to be. I don't think um, Sam Darnold will, will – I think Sam Darnold will be a good quarterback, but I think I just have a feeling Josh Allen will be the quarterback that comes out of that jack class and be great. Uh, he can run, man. He ran right all – he ran all over us. And, you know, like I said, we can't beat the Bills on the road and we can't beat running quarterbacks. So that's just a lose-lose for us, and we will lose that game, which would bring us to two and four. At Steelers, Monday Night Football, this is going to be a slaughter. I mean, we're going to get demolished. I can already see it coming. Uh, if any of you remember Monday Night Football, this is actually the first year I started watching Dolphins. 2007, it rained so hard. The, the field was insanely muddy. And the Steelers won on the last second field goal to win 3-0. Remember, this like the classic like punt went into the air and stuck right in the ground. That was an awesome game. I don't think it's going to be that awesome this time. I think we're going to get annihilated, honestly. I think we're going to end up 2-5. and five. Jets at home. I think the Dolphins players will want to be Adam Gase. I think that they'll uh, play the, play really hard. But also, I think Adam Gase might have a little bit of a game plan against us. But I still have confidence we can beat the Jets at home. We usually do. I don't think... I don't know. I just I think the Jets will be improved this year. Not as improved as some people may think they are. I think they still have like, you know, a few more years to be, get where they need to be. And I don't think, I, I mean, I think Adam Gase, I don't know. It's hard to say whether he's a good coach or not. It really is. But I don't have faith in him, to be perfectly honest. I mean, as Dolphins fans, I don't think most of us have faith in him. That's a win. So that would bring us to 3-5, and five, correct? Let me just redo this here, just to make sure I'm on the 0-1. Oh or, yeah, 1-1, one 1-2, and 1-3, one, one and 2-3, and 2-4, and 2-5. and, four, two and five. Yep, 3-5. and five. Next up, we would have the Colts at Indianapolis. Surprisingly, we almost beat them last year, and I was really surprised by that. But uh, I think um, I don't think it'll be as close this year. I think Andrew Luck will throw right all over us, and I think we'll be beaten pretty handily. Three, I think that'll lead us to three and six. Next, we got the Bills at home. I want to say we're gonna win this game. I really do. Hmm. I don't think it's going to happen, though. I really don't. I think the Bills will sweep us this year. I don't think we can get this win. You know, we're not going to have the, the advantage of the Heat anymore here in mid-November. And I think the Bills are just going to have our number. And I don't think we'll be able to stop Josh Allen. So I got us going 3-7 and seven now, correct? Yeah, with six only six games left, we'll be at 3-7. and seven. That's my prediction so far. At the Browns, they're actually going to give us the win here. I don't think the Browns are going to be as good as people think they are. I think that... Um, Unlike the NBA, where you can throw a lot of talent or roster and it works, and NFL that doesn't work. I think a lot of these players are are going to butt heads, and I just don't think the chemistry is going to be there. I think they'll probably be a nine-win team, but I think we're going to go into Cleveland, we're going to upset them, and I think we're going to get the W, which would leave us at four and seven on the year so far. The Eagles, I think the Eagles are a team that can make the Super Bowl. I think they're very talented. Um, I think well, this will be a really close game. I think it will be, but I think the uh, Eagles will edge us out here. I think Carson Wentz is going to be uh, have a comeback year. I think he might be even comeback player of the year. And I think he's got something to prove in Philadelphia saying, you know what, I'm the quarterback here. I can win playoff games. So we got to, first they got to get there, and I think they'll help their cause by beating us. Um, and we would be 4-9. and nine. Four and 4-9, right? No. Four and eight. Yeah, four and eight. Next, we have the Jets at New York. Um, I'm going to give us a win at the Jets and at the Giants. I think we're going to sweep the New York teams. I think we're going to sweep the Jets once again. I really think that um, we uh, we match up well against the Jets. I think we match up well against Sam Darnold. I think we were able to stop what he does. I don't think he's going to improve that much enough to get over, you know, our defense. And the Giants, I don't think the Giants can be very good. I have them projected to be probably the worst team in football. So I think we can beat both these teams in New York. Leaving us at 6-8. and eight. Next up, we have the Bengals. I think the Bengals, as well as the Giants, are going to be two of the worst teams in the league. Um, we lost the, the Bengals last year in a crazy game i really felt we should have won that one it was that was a hard one to swallow as many you probably understand um and i think we will beat the Bengals again here in the 
week 16. It really depends if Andy Dalton's healthy, though. If Andy Dalton's healthy, it's going to be a lot harder to win, but I think we can get it done. And finally, we end the year at New England. I don't know if New England's going to be in the position to rest their starters. I don't think they will. Even if they do, we don't win in Foxborough. Simple as that. We do not win in New England. I've been watching the Dolphins for 13 years. I've only ever seen them win once. That was 2008. They didn't have Tom Brady, and it was the Wildcat game. We don't win in Foxborough, and we're not going to start now. Finishing, so that would finish us at 7-9. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think we can get to 7-9? and nine? Do you think my picks were realistic? I mean, I think they were. I don't think that any game that I picked that we win was so unfathomable. I think even some of the ones I picked us to loss could have been wins, you know, depending on what happens. But I really do see this team as a seven-win team. You know, it just depends, you know, if Ryan Fitzpatrick or Josh Rosen performs, whatever. So, like I said, when the time comes, I will be making another video, like, towards the end of um, the preseason, you know, depending on what injuries and stuff happen. So if a lot of stuff happens between now and then, I'll definitely make another video for schedule predictions. But I want to get one now. I think they're fun, and uh, I want to get some content out for you guys. So if you guys enjoy the Miami Dolphins content and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.